Hey everyone, today we're talking about a brand new feature from Fusion 360 that allows you to automatically add dimensions and constraints without doing anything. It's using an AI tool that's internal to Fusion 360, and there's a couple things I want you to know right off the bat. The first thing is access. If you have the paid version of Fusion 360, you will get this. When I've Googled, looked for it in my own personal free version of Fusion, I can't find it, but any of those paid versions, student versions, hobbyist version should have this tool. And if anyone knows anything more than that or knows different, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, so for the first thing is how do we even get started? You need to be in a sketch. So I'm in my sketch. I've started sketching some lines. Um, you'll notice that it doesn't really have any dimensions or constraints that I added when I was sketching. I'm going to click this new tool called automate and it auto constraints right away. Fusion 360 is providing two different results of different methods of constraining this. You'll notice that it looks like this line is getting a uh, line, a vertical constraint, excuse me. And then there's um, some dimensions that are being added. If we click and toggle into the second result, you'll see a different set of dimensions that are um, focusing on other design areas uh, that we want to drive with specific dimensions. In the write-up that Autodesk did, you can see that they were attempting to account for symmetry, alignment, and key constraints in your design. So there is some intelligence here, but there's some gotchas that I also want you to be aware of when you're designing using this tool. So in this design, one gotcha that I can already see is when I was sketching, what if I, I failed to auto constrain this as a vertical line and this is a horizontal line that's in my design intent. I just didn't actually sketch it that way. When I hit this automate, it's not going to pick up that this should have been horizontal or this should have been vertical. So it's not going to understand intent that you haven't communicated yet. So that's something important. You will want to go ahead and add horizontal, vertical, and any other key constraints that you know should already be there, as well as it doesn't hurt anything to put in a critical dimension before hitting automate if you know that you want to work with these other dimensions and constraints, getting priority to the things that you want to add first. Now let's talk about some strategies when working with this new tool. So I have a sketch here. I'm going to need to edit the sketch in order to bring up this tool. And one thing I want to do is automate, but then I want to drive off a very specific data point or datum with the auto constraint working from that. So one thing that you can do is toggle through your results and find the one that's the closest to what you want, or you can hit generate more and get some more options. As you scroll through, if you if you find one that is the closest to what you'd intended, you can go to the three dots, select that and hit set datum. What if I want everything to really be dimensioned from this bottom corner? So instead I'll come up to the result and I'll choose the three dots and I'll choose to set the datum. I'll choose this point. And now it's going to redo this result. So it moved that dimension here. It's still not really designing maybe the way I want. So what I can do instead is I can choose like this dimension and hit delete. And now if I hit refresh, it's going to try again. And so now instead, it's going from this bottom corner to this edge, which is better. Um, I, what I really like is I'd really like to maybe dimension from this corner, excuse me, this end point here to this edge. So I can accept the automation and then just finish it out myself by dropping in this dimension and now it's fully defined. So don't feel like you have to get it perfect with the automation, but instead just let it do the bulk of the work and then you can come in and make some small adjustments quickly and have it done. So pretty great tool from Autodesk. I'm definitely going to be playing with this and I'll try to update the community here as I learn more about it and find some newer strategies and working with it. 